So uh, first up, coming soon, I'll take care of this one. Uh, CircuitPython 7 is on its way. It's the great merge with MicroPython and CircuitPython well, and keyboards. Best friends. And keyboards. Lots of keyboard, HID, so USB stuff, it's that's, happening. That's it. For This is a poster, sign up, we'll be making a few. Um, and uh, you can always download it as well. Okay. Next up. All right, uh, we've got some updates. So this is the three and five millimeter uh, infrared brake beam sensors. You have one transmitter at the top and then on the bottom is the receiver, uh, a transistor receiver. Uh, these are great for brake beams. You want to see if somebody has like put their hand or something or some devices between the two LEDs. They work about like a foot or two away. Um, three millimeter and five millimeter. So the update is uh, they now come with these nice premium wire ends, so you can you can solder them if you want, but they're great for breadboards now. Before they were bare wires. Now we spent a little bit more, got them with premium wires. We had this in our um, Ada box, the last one we just shipped, and I love them so much, I was like, I want them for the store as well. So we've updated this product. Yeah. And then there's the other one. Uh, this is the five millimeter, same deal. Yeah. More LED, more bright, premium. Okay, next up. All right, next up, we've got a whole plethora like uh, really a menagerie of um, 2.4 millimeter or 0 0.1 inch pitch uh, jumper cable. So these are like kind of standard like Berg or Molex, whatever you want to call them, jumper cables that have two sockets on either end. And yeah, so I'll so show, I'll show I, there's so I many. I started off with one and then it was like, oh no, we're just gonna, we're just gonna show all of them. Yeah, there's just Because there's too many to show okay. one after the other after the other. So, so yeah, I'm gonna show them all at once. Yeah. So, so basically we have, um, you know, and we have individual like jumper jerky, like the pullable ones, but these are in one piece. And there are a lot of times where I'm like, I really do want them to be in one solid piece so I can jumper two things together. Um, you don't have to worry about like accidentally flipping one or coming loose. So we have them, you know, in like up to, I think, 20 in a row. We have like 8, 12, 16, 5. We've actually already carried six. Oh, one thing I'll note is uh, there's no guarantee of the colors um, because they're just like jumpers that you'll, they'll definitely be like, you know, symmetric. So yellow, like pin one is pin one and then pin five is pin five, right? They're, they're going to be in order, but the colors may vary. Although I've, I've noticed that once you get to the longer ones, you know, they tend to start with, with black and then white and then back to brown. Um, that said, you now have, a, you know, these about eight inches long in all sorts of lengths. They're just really handy um, and they make for very clean wiring. And because they're 0.1 inch, they work with just about anything, like everything you, that would normally use a breadboard or headers, um, you can now easily jumper them. And of course, we also have the individual jumpers but what I like about these is that you don't have to worry about these coming apart or coming loose. They're just like one solid strip. So I think these are very handy. Okay. Next up. Okay. Luxury key puller. This is like the wire whisk style. This is the nice kind of wire key puller. So if you're doing keyboard stuff and you have to pull keycaps off, um, this is actually kind of a tool to use. Like really, it's the only thing that works really well. Like with your fingernails, you're just going to break them. This has like these two strong metal prong kind of whiskey looking things and they slide over the keycap as you saw in the image and then they can just pull it right off. They work really great. Um, they're not as cheap as the plastic finger ring ones, but those don't work very well. These can get in even if it's like in the middle of the keyboard. You can pull out individual keys anywhere on the keyboard, yeah. which makes them, I think, a wonderful tool. All right. Next up, this is an update. Also an update, but leading into another product, uh, for this magnetic uh, read sensor that's built in, it's a door sensor or window sensor. You all see these in security systems. Um, these also now have premium wire ends on them. So they're easier to use with a breadboard or perf board or plugging them into cables or whatever. I, I just love these and we did it for the Adabox and now they're in the store. Speaking of, if you missed out on this last Adabox because we sold out, we basically have a starter kit that has everything that was in the box except for the year subscription to Adafruit IO, which was of course only for subscribers. Um, but this pack has all the sensors that you need to follow along with all the Adabox projects. So you can do um, the mail slot detector as shown here using brake beam. Um, we've got, uh, this, this is, is the a door, door alert sensor that sends you an email when a door has been opened using, as you can see, the, the magnetic door sensor. We've got the um, parking detector. Melissa did a bunch of home assistant projects. There was that uh, water cat bull sensor to see if your cat needs more water. 
Um, so you've got the water sensor, the window or door magnetic sensor, the ultrasonic sensor, the PIR sensor, so you can detect a person, uh, the brake beam sensor, cables, the back plate, and uh, the yellow brick mounting stand. Next up. All right, next up, uh, you've got these skinny NeoPixel strips that are RGBW. Uh, we have RGBW LED strips, but they're kind of chunky. These are very slim, and so I thought these could be handy for some people. And they're beautiful. So inside each um, NeoPixel, it's not just RGB. You can see kind of the, it's split in half. The top half has RGB, and then the bottom half has yellow, and it's separated. So if you want to have like true white color phosphor LED light, you're going to get that with the sensor, whereas normally if you try to mix R, G, and B, it never quite comes out white. It's like white's kind of funky. You really want like this full spectrum color. So we've got these in two versions. One is the warm white, as shown here, yeah. and then this one, which has the same R, G, B, and then when it goes to the white, it's a cool white. So two versions, warm white and cool white. We just kind of skip neutral, and then I can, um, I can show real fast on the overhead as well so as normal uh, each one comes with a JST um, SM connector three pins with data power and ground and then uh, you can see it does the rainbow it's very good at the rainbow red green blue and then a warm white and it's a really nice white color so for architectural or accenting lighting where you want it to be a, a true incandescent white or a daylight white, um, this is going to look much, much, much better than trying to color mix the RGB segments. Just remember, you need to have a NeoPixel library that has RGBW support. Almost all of them do, but just make sure you follow that step because it has four LEDs in it, not three, otherwise your data will come up all funky. All right. And then we have the star that shows tonight besides you, Lady Ada, our community, and our team here at Adafruit. It's the RP2040. They come in 1 in 10. That's right. Coming soon. Uh, we also don't have any spares right now. As seen on. Yeah, because we're uh, using them for these things. On the Feather, RP2040. On the Cutie yeah. Pie. Uh, on the Itsy Bitsy. On the Keeb 2040 I'm designing. Um, this chip, I've been using it. It's been great. I love it. And uh, the Raspberry Pi Foundation, um, as of Monday, is sort of letting people sell them individually. Um, so right now, sign up, and we'll have them in singles or packs of 10. Uh, as of right now, the price is, again, a dollar a piece. It's a great price. Um, and then, of course, use our open source design to kickstart your design. And then... You can make your own. Make your own, whatever you want. It's, it's, a great, it's a great price for a chip so powerful. Dual Cortex M0 with tons of RAM. Uh, runs MicroPython, runs CircuitPython, runs Arduino, runs Embed. Um, you know, anything that needs a lot of RAM needs fast BitBang. Um, I.O. support using the P.I.O. clusters that are into this chip. Um, I love it for CircuitPython because it's, there's so much RAM and CircuitPython requires a lot of RAM. But I've just been having fun with it um, using teeny USB to make um, me mechanical keyboards that are reprogrammable. Yeah. The RP2040, of course, does an excellent, excellent job at it. So uh, check out the RP2040. Um, it's going to be in the shop soon. You can sign up. And then don't forget, you'll also need uh, SPI Flash with it, which we also stock. Yep. Got it.